Hey guys, it's day three. Um, day two, Ben got a buck. We, uh, Roderick shot a doe. We tracked it for a long time, couldn't find it. Um, more on that later. It is day three. I'm headed out to the property. I'm probably about 30 minutes out. It's five o'clock in the morning. Sun comes up at 6.36. The legal shooting light is 6.06. Uh, I am targeting a big old buck, but at this point, day three, I'm ready to shoot something. Uh, it's just uh, it's sneaking up on me, that itchy trigger finger. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy the footage. Getting all dressed up. I got my layers on. It's got to be the day. I'm feeling it. I'm gonna get sprayed down to mask my scent. Open up some hand warmers. Go sit in the stand until we see it. I got a good feeling about today. You know that moment when you get to your favorite hunting spot and all of a sudden nature calls? Well, there's not much you can do but pack toilet paper, drop trial, and take care of business. Fortunately, that happened to me as soon as we got here, since I got here. Feeling good. Definitely a great way to start a hunt. Just to have that baggage off your back. You know, feel free and clear, a little bit lighter. But I'll tell you what, man, I made it up into the tree stand and after about an hour, started getting a little uncomfortable again started to get a little bit itchy sometimes you just gotta uh, take your tp and uh attack the problem for a second time unfortunately uh that happened to me and uh young buck walks out when i have my pants down this is what happened <sighs> day four i just squeezed off a shot on a on a young buck i'm tired of passing up on deer <sighs> it's probably about a 80, 90 yard shot, but I saw him buck real good. Back feet kicked up. <laughs> the funny part about it is, <laughs> I was doing a little bit of cleanup on aisle two when he came by. So with, at the risk of showing too much, <sighs> he literally caught me with my pants down. <laughs> so I need to finish what I'm doing. <laughs> Give him some time and then go see if I can find him. A good grief. In the middle of taking care of business here. Literally shot a deer with my pants down. <laughs> I think I shot him right by those two pine trees right there. That's where I saw him buck. So we'll start there. Let's go to the tree line and look from there. Looking for blood. Not bad. He ran about 100 yards, so it's fairly typical. I shot him quartering away, so looks like I might have ruined a little bit of shoulder meat, but otherwise, good through and through shot. Let's get to cleaning them up.
This is when the work starts. But man, it pays off. Just a little two point, a little forky. But sick of passing up on deer. Passed up on two or three, so it's time we took one. Yeah. And there's a gut pile. Now I just gotta drag them out to the tree line. I don't care whether I wear gloves or not. I can't stay clean. Never have. Your boy got one. Finally, Woo, first deer of the season. I got blood on my. It's messy, but I love it. And it makes it so freaking worth it. We will be quartering them today and putting them on ice. Man, I feel a little bit guilty for shooting a little buck. So I've essentially passed up on three deer so far. Fourth hunt, I said, uh uh. Shooting them. Taking them down with my pants down. What an interesting series of events. All right, I got an hour and a half drive home. Get them hung up. Check in with you shortly. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Now, start skinning from this side. I, uh, I didn't harvest this deer in the CWD area, but something my family always does is we always go get it checked, just to be careful. I will be taking that head and dropping it off at a testing place. We will process all this meat and do all the work and get it in the freezer before we know if we, we can eat it or not. Good thing for uh, Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency. So, all right, let's finish this deer. You're doing a great job with that. I love you. Yes, sir. Yeah. I like it spicy. Okay. <laughs> I love my mailman.
put all those little cuts in a bag here for us to kind of sort through later. I know there's still some silver meat here. There's still some gristle. But you sit down once these cool off a little bit and just take, you know, an hour out of your day and really go through those and trim them up. That's a lot of good meat that you can add for, to your burgers. So salvage what you can, man. That's just random little bits, flank, all sorts of stuff that is going to make great burger. More meals. Happy day. Just want to show you guys one last quick shot here. That's the whole deer, including all the little bits that I shaved off and salvaged for the grinder later, turn into burger. I'm just going to cover everything up. This is a 150 quart cooler, one big cooler, and I'm ready to go get another one. <laughs>